Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the brand new 2022 Yamaha XSR 700. So here she is, retailing at eight thousand pounds now compared to the mt07 which is seven thousand two hundred pounds so you're paying well eight hundred pounds more for the uh, xsr version but we're going to find out today if it is better than the mt07 basically before we leave huge thank you to branson motorcycles here we've got yamaha and honda just across the road there down in yeovil great dealership and thank you so much for lending me this brand new xsr 700 they've actually got the 900 the xsr 900 coming on demo very soon so you can get yourself down and have a spin on either either one you like it's always surprisingly meaty this it's a cp2 engine basically that yamaha use in so many of their platforms oh god i thought that was a real lady down there if you can see <laughs> almost waved at her it's a mannequin Oi. yes nice we're off full disclosure i've actually very recently jumped off of a 2022 mt07 model so i'm very familiar with the platform the xsr 700 it's basically an mt07 like it really is it's exactly the same engine it's got the same suspension brakes it's pretty much the, an identical bike bar the obvious bits which you can see is the styling really it's slightly heavier the xsr is by only a few kilograms and immediately jumping on i can tell that the seat height is definitely higher than on the mt07 my immediate impressions of this are it actually feels like a more of a substantial bike than the mt07 it feels bigger more of a sort of grown-up proposition which is quite nice. So we're just going to find out today, is it really worth the extra £800 from the MT-07? Straight off the bat, the CP2 parallel twin from Yamaha, it's a 72 brake horsepower, off the top of my head, 68 newton meters of torque. It's a lovely engine, so well tried and tested, extremely reliable, great for on the road, just lovely amounts of power and fun as well. It's a characterful parallel twin, it's, it's a cracking most of this so straight off in town what's she like she's very easy nice light clutch positive gear shifter actually that's nice and because of that higher uh, seat seat position i do feel slightly more commanding i was in a little bit of danger on the mt07 of feeling slightly inferior on the road and in traffic etc However, actually this XSR7, it's got more road presence, which I like. I'm initially enjoying that. So the obvious differences, the looks, you can see the LCD. It's not TFT, it's an LCD dash there. Nice circular to match the headlight up front. It's very bright, really easy to see. There's no riding modes on the XSR700. It's a really simple platform, which is part of its appeal. It's literally a hop on and, and go. There's no rain, road or sport riding modes. It's just one mode. It's got ABS and that's all you need. Ooh. Quite hard engine braking. So we're just gonna come on to some quicker dual carriageway roads here. See what she's like. Yeah, straight up to uh, 70, no problems at all. Fantastic engine. It's a naked bike, so you're getting a lot of wind. As you can see, you're going 73 miles an hour in yeah, six gear, and it's really not stressing the engine at all. One thing about the MT-07 at these speeds, sorry if it's too windy, if you can't hear me, the MT-07, it's slightly flighty at higher speeds on dual carriageways and motorways, whereas this feels more planted for some reason. I'm not sure why, but it does. Just as we're here, guys, just quickly before we uh, start, start opening this baby up, this bike up and get into depth more, what she's like to ride. I thought I'd just mention, I have recently got a motorcycle tracker, GPS tracker, 
I've actually got it fitted to my personal Triumph Speedmaster at home, so I can vouch for it very well. Yeah, basically it's called Sizzap, and I just want to say it's really good. I've, I've been given a promotional code and I've had it extended by two weeks so you can get a 10% discount off if you use the code REDANG R-E-D-A-N-G use that as a promotional code and you can get 10% discount off of the motorcycle tracker I'll put the link in the description below it's a great tracker more than just a motorcycle tracker which is is good it's the primary reason but that's not fun the fun bit about it is it tracks all of your riding stats which I've actually been using quite a lot like your average speed it actually tracks your average braking as well which is quite impressive and fun to look at it tells you your max speed of a journey it tracks your route and then you can share your route with friends that also have sis app it's a great little thing just thought i'd tell you that if you want if you're in the market for one 10 cent off go take a look link in description ah oh, yes pull out right in front of me thank you <laughs> all right guys so what's that engine like the cp2 well it's just great fun it's it's almost perfect for the road it's such a good balance it's not too fast uh, which i often find if a, you know engines are too quick on the road they're great fun if you're an incredible rider but to be honest i find them a little bit dangerous and you just can't have as much fun with it if it's too fast because you're constantly on tenter hooks of whether you're breaking the law or it's going to throw you off now don't get me wrong there are benefits to a powerful engine but that is the sweet spot of this uh, cp2 it's such a nice balanced parallel twin for the road i really think it's one of the best motors out there for road riding all right guys so just a demonstration of the um the nice torque of this engine and that it's got enough pull can we overtake these couple of cars if we get a chance open it up a bit i think we can here as you can see two cars overtaken there really is plenty of power and a lovely lovely engine you don't need more than this if you're worried about power don't be it's just got that long long range of torque which is delicious to use. Okay, so just a first initial ride there on the XSR 700 2022. My just initial thoughts, I didn't gel with it immediately whilst jumping on and first riding as I did with the standard MT-07. I, I was a little bit like, oh, I'm not too sure actually. There's something about not gelling with this XSR. It's It was a little bit taller. It felt a tiny bit heavier than the standard MT-07. But actually after a few, even just a few hours of riding it, I've really become to get to gel with this. And I can say I definitely prefer this this platform to the standard MT-07. I much prefer the looks, the more retro heritage style looks that the XSR offers. And actually, although it is pretty much an identical motorbike, <laughs> I prefer the way it rides as well, mainly because of that, the slightly higher riding position and slightly higher handlebars as well. It just makes it slightly more relaxing proposition and not as quite as nippy and waspy as the, the standard MT-07. Uh, yeah, apologies for the sunglasses. It's another heat wave in the UK today and I don't want to blind my eyes, so yeah. There are my eyes. Ah, oh, can't open them in the sun. Yeah, so just despite the obvious, to state the obvious, it's such a very different looking bike to the standard MT. I'm personally a big fan of the retro style and I think a lot of people are. I think this will be more popular in the looks department. So yeah, this is the heritage white paint scheme. They also do a heritage black as well for the 700. I really like this white version. However, David at Branson's was saying he quite likes the, the heritage black. It comes with the gold wheels and the gold lines on the tank, which I do agree, actually. I, I quite like that as well. So yeah, they're both really nice paint schemes. Love the looks of these bikes. I personally much prefer the looks to the standard, the standard MT. Other things to, to point out is the dash here. Ooh, if we can lean over. The round LCD dash has been lifted up a little bit and pushed a little bit more forward for 2022 just to make it visually easier to, to see and read the dash. Come down here, the radiator, there's been some added extra radiator 
guards on the side there, which yeah, they um they cover up the the radiator quite nice and a quite a nice little feature. Another lovely like aesthetics and comfort feature on the XSL7 is the seat. It's really nice seat. It's sort of leather where the rider sits, but then it sort of comes into a it's not, but a sort of Alcantara finish for the pillion. And yeah, it's it's larger than the seat on the MT07. It feels more comfortable to me for for riding as well. So added to the um, the heritage style, continuing with the XSR, you've got this round LED light up front to give it a more of a heritage classic style. And that LED light actually matches up with the LCD screen in the screen being round as well. So they match each other quite nicely. Another really good benefit of the XSR, it's got a nice light and slim tubular backbone frame which is actually split into two separate pieces so it's really customizable the XSR. This is a nice seated standard but I'd probably chop the seat out for like something sort of maybe brown diamond stitched. You could do a little tail tidy on it. There's with that separate subframe you can do a lot of customization to it and make it look just how you like it. Hey guys, on the front brakes you've got two 298mm discs with a four piston calipers. For the rear brakes guys you've got a single 245mm disc with a single piston Nissin caliper. Yeah, the brakes are pretty much identical to the same as on the MT-07. They're good brakes, I would say the front brakes I would personally like them a little bit sharper feel to them, but it's not a, a deal breaker at all. They're, a, they're perfectly adequate brakes, they're just not, not the sharpest brakes on the market. Okay, so how does she handle? Well, much like the MT-07, you got 130 mil telescopic forks on the front and a link suspension swing arm with 130 millimeters travel on the rear as well. However, and that's, it's a great handling bike, but I will say the XSR, the seat height is definitely higher than the MT-07. So the seat height on the XSR is 835 millimeters. Whereas on the standard MT-07, it's 805 millimeters. So you've got a nice bit of extra height. I gotta say, it's making quite a big difference in a good way from my perspective. You've got a much more commanding riding position on the road. You can see further around the corners. To me, the handling on this feels more planted and I feel more confident on it than I do on the standard MT-07. I just feel that extra height with the seat height makes you feel so much more confident on the road to be more commanding in the traffic. And it almost accentuates the lean in the corners, the lean angle. It's very similar as the MT-07 but I'm gonna give it to the XSR actually in the handling department just because of that seat height. What a great bike, really is. Straight off the bat, I'm weirdly much preferring it. Woo. Oh, and you can just rip that throttle with this engine. Not worry about it throwing you off but then it's enough power to have fun with. So no quick shifter on this XSR7, but you do on the 900. To be honest, I don't think I'd need a, a quick shifter on this 700. So any, any downsides of the XSR over the standard MT? Well, the weight of the XSR700 is 188 kilograms wet and the standard MT is 184 kilograms wet. So it's 4 kg heavier, like, actually in 4 kg in motorbike terms is, it does make a difference, but it's really not very noticeable. I still prefer the handling setup on this XSR, really. So that's not a major downside at all. The fuel tank on the XSR is 14 litres. I believe that's the same as the MT off the top of my head, but 14 litres is, 
yeah, pretty standard for a, for a naked motorcycle like this. One downside that I have actually, which I may get used to, I don't know if I'm a massive fan of it, is the, the screen itself is very good, the LCD round screen, but it just seems a bit strange to me. It seems to protrude out just a little bit too much. There's something about it. It may just take getting used to, but it just seems a bit sort of random, like it's stuck there. That's just a personal thing from me. So switch gears, it's Yamaha. If you've ever ridden a Yamaha, before you're gonna know the switch gear it's a little bit plasticky but it works absolutely fine so yeah there's not really many other downsides overall is this a better bike than the mt07 it's it's personal preference it's pretty much exactly the same motorcycle it's just this has retro styling and slightly different dimensions oh blimey go on girl gone for it that's all right <laughs> Try not to run her over. Yeah, and slightly different dimensions. Personally, I would definitely have this over the MT-07. And would I actually have one? I really would actually. This is a, a really nice bike. It feels slightly more grown up than the standard MT-07. And I just prefer the riding dynamics of it. And I much prefer the styling personally. <laughs> yeah, I think it is worth the extra 800 pounds to fork out for the XSR 700 guys. It's a, it's a wicked bike. It really is nice for riding on the road. Many thanks to Branson Motorcycles for lending me this, this bike. And I am aiming to book in a ride on the XSR XSR 900, the new version, which, oh, that's going to be a naughty little peach. Looking forward to that. Uh, Branson's do actually, this very bike, the demo is going to be on sale, David was saying, in about six weeks' time. But they do actually have a couple in stock right now. So if you're keen on one of these bikes, guys, or want to test one out, head down to Yeovil Branson's Motorcycles. They got a couple ready to go right now. And one last thing. I do have that code for the Sizat motorcycle tracker. I'm just letting you know, if, if you're in the market for one, do check it out. I've been using mine a lot over the last few weeks and I really, really enjoy it. Not just for a tracker, but for its other, you know, sharing routes with your friends and analyzing your ride it, riding statistics quite in depth after a ride. It's really fun. So yeah, link in description for the code for that and to Sizat website. Many thanks for watching, guys. I shall see you in the next video. Take it easy. Stay cool in this crazy heat wave. Drink plenty of water. Till next time. Ciao bella.